we're going to have a little momentum, we've got to have a little rhythm and flow for timing. But at the end of our rhythm and flow, we have to be in this position that we just learned. Okay? So, an important ingredient of getting our stretch and getting it early enough with control is there's a simultaneous move between the coil back and the forward move. Do all of you stride? Nothing wrong if you don't stride, but I just want to make sure if you're, if you're strider, this, this applies. Okay, I don't coil back and then stride. I don't stride and then coil. It's a simultaneous move that leads me to the spot that we've been working on. Okay? Hitters do it differently. Some lift their knee like this, some do this, some hover. There's a lot of techniques to do it. But there's a simultaneous coil and forward. Coil and forward. Now I want to point out what is the forward. You might be looking at my lead leg. It does go forward, but that's not the key. The key is the ball of my femur back here, my rear ball of femur. This is the coil of the ball of the femur. This is the forward of the ball of the femur. I started off coiling, but then when I do it right, I coil and the ball of the femur goes forward. And you can really feel the load, if, as long as you got this going on, you can really feel the load build up and snap. Okay? So I want you to start with your feet together for now, right here. Get this feeling right here, and then that, and just bring your foot down, and end up right there. Show me. 